Well, it's 2016 and Inman has challenged us all to stop marketing like it's 2005. Catchy and in-your-face topic, okay, got my attention. Let's take a look and see what it's all about. After all, I'm a marketing guy. This is in my wheelhouse and we've made similar comments on our show in the past. So let's see what Inman has to say and see if we all collectively agree. First thing they bring up, email. This is a good one. Now, 2005, open rates in real estate were about 28%. Inman states in 2014, just a few short years ago, the open rate dropped to 14%. And from my research, I believe open rates are actually much, much lower in the five to 8% range. Either way, they're lower than they were in 2005, about 50%. So what gives? That's the good question. People on average receive 147 emails every single day. Let's face it, we're inundated with them. Work-related messages, promotions, outright spam, you name it, we get it. As the amount of emails consumers receive increases, the window to grab their attention gets smaller and smaller and smaller. In addition, I've always stated, don't condition or train your sphere of influence to ignore you or tune you out. Meaning this, don't just send crap to send crap or just so you could say I did something. This is where I personally disagree with most of the industry and now several years later, the analytics are coming out and they're proving me right. 33 touch and similar approaches condition your target audience to tune you out because let's be honest, not all 33 touches are of value to a person that you are contacting. In my humble opinion, there shouldn't be a number goal here, 33, 50, 5, 100. If what you're sending out is of value and it will be appreciated, then send it. Whether that's five times a year, a hundred times a year. If not, then don't. Ignoring this method is the quickest way to become spam in your target audience's mailbox. Please remember this, and I know that goes against the industry norm, but we are right, and trust me, your people will love you for it. Now, part of your 33 touch program may be direct mail. Now get this, agents only, not lenders, spend $312 million a year just on direct mail. Now here's the kicker. 44% of that direct mail goes unopened, and that's flushing about $130 million a year down the toilet. Why? Why, why, why do we do it? I'll tell you why. Because they don't know what else to do, so they'd rather do something versus nothing. Well, I again disagree, and saving money on a failed or outdated strategy is something to me. Don't throw your hard-earned money away. If you don't know what to do or how to do it, that's okay, but ask questions and do research. Don't just do what you've always done. Now, Emma talks about social media, and I'm not going to cover that here because we have several times in the past. Just go back and watch the show titled Respecting the Psychology of Social Media. It's a good one in the links below. Inman also talks about how to target millennials, but we've covered that topic to death as well, and these young folks apparently aren't moving out of their parents' basements fast enough, so that's that, moving on. You can read that section for yourself, though, if you'd like, that link is also down below. Inman did bring up one thing while covering the millennial topic that is of note, but it's not just limited to millennials in my opinion, it's just people in general nowadays. Basically, provide value. If you provide value, people will take notice. The agent here is a good example. She recorded a quick video outlining five tips for first time sellers. She's not asking for views or anything. She's given the viewer valuable information and then the viewer can decide whether to work with her or not. And on that topic guys, don't get discouraged if you have minimal views. Sure, it's not Charlie bit my finger with millions of views, but that's okay. You're not competing with Charlie bit my finger. Don't get mad if your video only gets 50 to 100 views. Think of it this way. If I teed up a room full of 100 people and you had a captive audience to hear your sales pitch, would you go? Of course you would, and you would consider it a big win. It's the same thing, guys. 100 people heard your message, either via the web or in person. It's the same thing. Now, sure, we would all choose 100 in person via the web because of the human nature aspect and being able to shake hands and kiss babies, but at the end of the day, if you get 100 people to hear your message, it's a good thing. Set realistic expectations and you won't be let down. 100 people is 100 people. Provide real value to those 100 people and you'll be surprised at the results. After all, results are really what matters, not simply doing something for the sake of doing something. Be brave enough to move on from a strategy that's not yielding results. Just make sure you give it enough time before you do. That's it for today's show. The world and society moves at hyper speed now. We have to adapt, we have to keep up. 2005 is gone. 2015 is gone and 2016 is here and it brings a whole new set of challenges and more importantly opportunity. Go get yours.